Some of the keys to rolling out pasta, at least as my grandmother taught me, are well, first you want to you want to cut your your beautiful log here and into into pieces about like this because you're going to flatten this and you're going to flour it and we always put ours through a machine. And back in the day, you know, my grandmother just had a crank on the side and we've upgraded to this fantastic motor here which makes life a little bit easier. What's important on the machine here is the side here is the settings and I always start on the the fattest as I'm going through the roller first to flatten it. The the widest here which for from my machine is the 1 and I go to about the thinnest I go is is 4. You might want to go to 3, you might want to go to 5. It just depends on, you know, the thickness that you like to have your noodle. And you know, it's key to it's key to flour as you go. Um, because uh, you, you want this pasta to dry out. Um, they're going to look like this once you flatten them, and they need to dry out a bit before you can cut them. And if, um, if you have cutters, you know, spaghetti cutter, fettuccine cutter, and there's all different sizes of noodles and sky's the limit, do whatever floats your boat, um, they need to dry out a little bit in this state. Although not too dry, that's how I discovered, um, you know, homemade lasagna noodles, which personally I think is fantastic. Uh, you do need them to dry a little bit or they'll be a little sticky, especially when you use um, spelt flour, which, which has less gluten than, than wheat flour, but it still does, does have gluten, um, just a FYI for anyone with celiac. It is not a gluten-free flour. So those are just some tips for when you're, you're rolling out your pasta dough, some things, to, some things that you need to know, um, and, uh, and that's, that's how you do it. So not, not that hard, not that hard.